People think of the dopamine system as this kind of like catch all for reward. Oh, you get likes on Instagram and it makes you feel good. That's not really how it works. The reward system is entirely internal. The dopamine system is mother nature's hardwired ancient system in all animals to put us on the right path. A lot of people talk about dopamine as this thing that you get when something wonderful happens, like your child's born, and that's true. But dopamine's main role is to be released anytime you achieve a milestone or you think you're on the right path. And so let's think about an animal. Let's think about a deer that wakes up and is thirsty and it's wandering out looking for water. That animal needs water. It doesn't know that it needs water. It experiences agitation, the same way that a baby feels agitation when it wants food, but it doesn't know it needs food. Mm -hmm. It just feels agitation and cries and a caretaker comes. That deer is foraging for something that it needs. And let's say it smells water, because deer can actually do that, and arrives at a stream and takes a sip of water. There's dopamine release then, that puts it on a path to maybe a larger lake or something of that sort, or to be able to go achieve food. So when we are on the right path and we hit a milestone, dopamine is released and it tends to tighten our focus more for that activity. It's what mother nature designed so that the neural plasticity would occur and you would want to continue those behaviors again in the future. That deer needs to know and remember and create a memory, not just of where that stream is, but the process of, oh, when I feel that agitation, uh -huh. I'm gonna get up and go down this particular path. Right. And so people think of the dopamine system as this kind of like catch all for reward. Oh, you get likes on Instagram and it makes you feel good. That's not really how it works. For any of us, success in any endeavor is very closely related to how much focus we can bring to that endeavor. And the reward system you start to realize is entirely internal. No one's coming along and cramming dopamine in your ear or dripping it in your brain. It's all internal. The agitation and stress that you feel at the beginning of something and when you're trying to lean into it and you can't focus is just a recognized gate. You have to pass that through that gate to get to the focus component. If you can reward the effort process, you really start to feel joy and low levels of, of excitement in the effort process. That's that buffering of adrenaline. That's that feeling like, yes, I've got a lot of adrenaline in my system, but I'm on the right path. Mm. It feels good to walk up this hill, so mm -hmm. to speak. And when you start to bring the, those neural circuit together, you really start to create a whole set of circuits that are designed to be exported to any behavior you want.